Well, a very good afternoon to you, Akisa. As you correctly put it, we are coming to you live from Lake Elementator Centrum in uh, Naivasha, that is in Nakuru County. And already the meeting or the retreat, the two-day retreat by the Orange Democratic Movement Party is ongoing and is being chaired by party leader Raila Odinga. The meeting started at around 11 a.m. just after the arrival of the party leader. The, some of the members here arrived yesterday. And there's so much that uh, the members here are discussing, and that's uh, the reason why I am uh, delighted to have uh, the party leader of ODM, who is also the Kakamega governor, Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya, the deputy party leader. Well, uh, the meeting is ongoing, uh, uh, but uh, you can briefly tell us uh, what are some of the issues that are being uh, deliberated upon inside there. Yes, uh, as you said, um, the meeting started at uh, 11 a.m. <laughs> and is being chaired by the party leader, um, His Excellency Raila Molodinga. And I think, um, as you know, this is the National Executive Council of um, National Executive Committee of the Party NEC is one of the top decision-making organ in the party. Uh, the first agenda was that uh, the party leader wanted to brief the NEC members the issue of uh, the handshake. Uh, this was the first um, li uh, formal NEC meeting, and uh, he chose it appropriately to come and brief the members on the handshake, the basis uh, of, of the handshake, how we came up with that issue, and where we are going. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want to clarify, uh, the, the, the issue of handshake is very clear. It's not about 2022. Uh, it is uh, to address the agenda that were, 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 were signed between the, our party leader and the president of the Republic of Kenya, the five issues that they need to be addressed so that in future uh, this party has to go together when we have elections. And after elections, we stay together as brothers and sisters. Is the clamor for constitutional changes part of uh, today's meeting? Obviously, if the five agenda have to be addressed, obviously this will require the amendment to the constitution and also changes of some of the laws that already exist. And it has come out clearly. So obviously, to do this, uh, he needed the cooperation of the president, who leads also a major party. Mm -hmm. So it was important that uh, this handshake uh, happens so that we are able, if we have to change the, uh, the constitution, which here we have agreed that the constitution must be amended so that we are able to achieve the five agenda that they agreed. But even as you talk about amending the constitution, we've seen uh, the deputy president on the other side, uh, who is a member of Jubilee, are uh, really opposing uh, that. Then how do you ensure that uh, you merge these issues uh, together with uh, building bridges and reconciliation in the country? Obviously, I think the other side, what they are looking at is they are looking at 2022. I've said here that... Uh, what we are looking at is beyond 2022. We want to have a cohesive country. And to have a cohesive country that will move together to develop its people, I think we need to address some of the issues that have caused conflict every time we have an election. Mm -hmm. So I think the other side, what they are looking at, they are looking at 2022. When we people in ODM, we are looking beyond mm -hmm. 2022. And uh, finally, uh, this won't pass me because you've already indicated that come to 2022, you'll be in the presidential race. Yes, I, I have said that, and I want to repeat here that uh, I'm in the presidential race, and I have even um, uh, talked to my party leader and the party leadership to support me come 2022. But that is not what we have come to discuss here 
there will be time for that. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Mwishma. Well, that has been uh, the Kakamega Governor Wycliffe Mbetsa Oparanya, who is also the Deputy Party Leader of ODM. And as is correctly said that uh, after the meeting, of course, uh, the members will be coming and addressing the media on some of the issues that they finally deliberated upon and agreed. And uh, as he has just said uh, from that interview is that uh, one of the issues that they have agreed inside there is that there is their need to amend the constitution even before the 2022 general election. But that, of course, will be left with the 14 team, the 14 man team that was formed between uh, the Jubilee side and uh, 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 the party leader, that is ODM party leader Raylo Dinga side. And uh, of course, they will be perusing and coming up uh, with recommendations as to which are some of these clauses uh, that need to be amended before the 2022 general election. And so Akisa will be keeping uh, uh, tabs here, just uh, 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 waiting to see what will be the final liberations and uh, the final, uh, uh, the final, of course, the final communication from the party that is ODM party. Akisa. All right, and that 